All right, everybody, here we are, together again. At last, yeah. This is uh, my newest segment of Markets, A Look Ahead, and we have to talk. Seriously, we really do. Um, let's, um, let's put a few things together here so we can gain a perspective on what's going on and what is about to happen, more importantly. Okay, so as we all know, no secret. Once the story was floated out um, that U.S.-China trade talks are back on, scheduled for next month sometime, what did this do? It stripped fear out of the market. The 2 to 10 uh, bond yield spread came out of inversion, uh, and that made the game risk on. Cash went back into the stock market. However... <laughs> This is starting to change, uh, and I want to show you this so you can get a handle on it real quick. All right, first of all, let, before we talk about the 2 to 10, I want you to see this. All right, this is where we stand right now. Look at the one month yield, 2.05. Let's go all the way to the 30. All right, now the one month is yielding higher than the 30. So we do have a full spectrum inversion, okay? But the 210 is the one that spooks everybody. So let's go to that real quick. All right, here's the two year. All right, the two year right there, 1.54 and the 10, 1.56. So we have a two basis point spread between, between the two of them. Um, we need to watch that spread again because once it inverts, again, notice the word, once, because it's going to. I've explained to all of you since time immemorial, they cannot prevent the longer end of the curve from dropping. They can mess with the short end of that curve all they want to, uh, and they're going to, and we'll talk about that in a second with regard to the federal funds rate being lowered next FOMC meeting. So what does this tell us? By looking at the bond market, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a predictor of fear in the market. Very simple. Uh, cash makes its way into the debt market when there is fear. It comes out of the stock market. Generally, that's how it works. Okay. There are some nuances to this, but for the most part, that's how it works. When there's fear, cash goes into the debt market, yields drop. You understand? That's how it works. When fear is stripped out, like when a fake story is floated out, no matter what it is, maybe this whole China trade talk thing, this is nonsense in my opinion. It's the same recycled story we've been hearing over and over again. Uh, there are certain individuals, and you know who the biggest one is, who wants the stock market moving higher. Doesn't matter what's going on with regard to our economy, which is falling apart around us. There's no inflation. You know that. Uh, another point that Mike Pence is pushing lately, uh, I find that disturbing as well, uh, that he's now fallen into the same trap, uh, having to lie for the president. It's a shame. It really is to see how one man, uh, the president of the United States, can have such a profound influence on people around him. Uh, they got to use magic markers on charts to prove truths. Uh, I mean, you can't, you, you can't make this stuff up that's around us right now. It's an environment of serious delinquencies. <laughs> I don't even know another way to put this. It's, it's unbelievable where we are here. But anyway, so this week moving forward, it's very simple. We are on 2 to 10 inversion watch. In my view, this could happen. We could literally invert tomorrow. We have a two basis point spread going on here. And we have a full spectrum inversion going from the the one month to to the thirty year. You gotta be kidding me! And understand this while we're on the topic of inflation. Right now, every single government bond yield is lower than the actual rate of inflation. You can't make it up if you tried. There are individuals that feel that they must own debt in this situation, even though they're being robbed blind. Think about that. If I told you, hey, you know what? Give me ten thousand, uh, and I'm going to give you nine nine ninety eight hundred dollars back uh, over and over again. Would you think that was a good deal? 
Uh, no, I'm sure you wouldn't. You'd be getting robbed blind. And meanwhile, letting me hold that cash for X amount of time, 10 years, whatever it might be. You can't make it up. Again, it goes back to that. It's just too bizarre, but that's where we are right now. Now, we also understand, people, that quantitative easing has already begun. Um, the Federal Reserve is out buying debt again. They're keeping it uh, off the radar screen. Uh, so, you know, keep this between you and me. And uh, if you want to see what this looks like for yourself, I will place a link in the description of this video that will show you clearly. You see, drop, 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 drop. All of a sudden, Fed's buying again. They're not talking about it. Um, and I'll tell you something else I think you all understand. This has never stopped quantitative easing. The Federal Reserve can't just say they want to keep rates low. They have to get into the market and buy the debt with cash added to a digital screen. That's what they do. And the other thing is central banks around the world are buying each other's debt, keeping it off balance sheet. It's an incredible situation. So this shows you how desperate they are around the world to keep this propped up, to keep the multiples in this market uh, sustained because believe me when this comes to a realization there is no way possible and I think most of you know this um, the market multiples cannot be sustained and it's gonna hurt a lot of people on an incredible scale but that's the plan to begin with the plan is very simple and it's the same plan that goes on over and over and over again it just never stops the Federal Reserve colluding with whatever government is in power, right now it's the Trump administration, are serial bubble blowers. They deliberately inflate bubbles and then deflate bubbles to create a transfer of wealth like uh, on a grand scale. It's, it's legal theft, an unimaginable legal theft. We went from a big, fat, ugly bubble, president's own word, to whatever we have now. This is beyond freaking beyond. And uh, so it's no secret, it shouldn't be to you why the stock market is inflated, hyperinflated, where it is on the back of a debt bubble, which is the greatest threat to humankind, period, the end. Uh, we are going to run into a resource problem because of this. And uh, people around the world are going to suffer on a biblical scale. All right, with that said, so 2 to 10 inversion watch. This is going to press your stocks. There's opportunity here for us lions to rip the face cleanly off of this market. Uh, we've all been doing absolutely phenomenal. If you've been on my quant system, I'm not going to go off on this because I've been getting feedback like you would not believe. Uh, as a matter of fact, 90% plus positive feedback personally that I've been getting from my quant system, which is free. I'm not selling it. I'm not trying to sell you. Go to my website, traderschoice.net. It's right there. You don't have to sign up. It's just there for you. Take advantage of this if you're a trader, you're a day trader or an intra day trader. Um, learn to use that system. Look, this entire freak show that's going around us makes it very simple for us to understand what we need to do. Bet against this debt. Become your own central bank. Bet against the dollar. Again, our president continues the rhetoric of dollar intervention. He will not say dollar devaluation. The in when he says intervention, it confuses people. It's meant to confuse the dumbed down. People can't walk and chew gum at the same time already. So when they inter interject a word like intervention, they don't know if it's coming, going, or they have, it's just out there to them. So this is why these words are chosen. Devaluation sounds pretty straightforward. If the president were to say dollar devaluation, the brain dead would say devaluation. You mean the dollar is going to lose value? Now, if he says intervention, he you know, puts a different spin on it. So watch for the spin doctors. Watch for the geopolitical risk in this market. Watch for the tweet risk in this market too. All things that we lions can use to our advantage while the sheep get sheared. You understand? We're not going to be sheared um, at all. This thing ain't happening. No one on my watch who has a clue is going to be sheared. Period. The end. I will not allow it. All right. With that said, if you want to see what the Fed is doing, 
click on the link in the description of this video. You can see the Fed has now started quantitative easing yet again. Uh, has no name. They're not announcing it. They're keeping it under the table. At one point, it's going to start getting some coverage, especially when the Fed starts uh, this new round, which is coming, of rate cuts, a series of them. We just got one, 25 basis points. Market's not going to be happy with 25. This is going to be another 25, if that's what's going to happen. The market, I think, is pricing in more like a 50. But when we, when we get there, we'll talk about it. And I can promise you yet again, me and my lions are going to be gleeful. Uh, no matter what happens, we don't care if the market goes up. We don't care if the market goes down. We just need a little bit of movement, again, unless you're trading credit spreads, something I've done for a long time, I've written about, I've explained. I'm not talking about that right now. All right, We need a little movement in this market, and we're going to get it. Um, you know what to do to capitalize on this across the spectrum uh, with regard to betting against the dollar, betting against the debt. Uh, become your own central bank, understanding what world central banks are going to continue to do, just like the video I did on Friday, inflate or die. Uh, so if you have not seen the video I did on Friday, please watch it. With that said, love you a lot. Please share this video. See you in the morning.